They're some of the most futuristic cars and trucks ever built, and that's why you'll never see them out on the road. They're concept cars, of course, and every year the top manufacturers build plenty. GM currently has 10 on its plate, and remarkably enough, executives there say eight of them could very possibly be built. Here's a look at a few that got our attention. It's a five-passenger, four-door pickup truck with a six-foot box. But what makes this vehicle unique is its style. Designers call it industrial precision. The GMC Teradyne is also extremely high-tech. It features an innovative door system in which the doors glide parallel to the side of the truck. An electronic side storage system also makes a very efficient use of space. The side storage boxes are weatherproof and they lock so that they're secure. And to make the vehicle even more functional, Teradyne's six-foot cargo box can be easily extended to eight feet. Basically what this does is it allows the tailgate and the end of the, uh, the box to extend out two and a half feet. It lets, uh, lets the user of the truck convert the box from six feet to eight and a half feet, really just swallow up uh, loads of drywall, uh, four by eight pieces of plywood for some home remodeling, whatever the, the job may call for. But it's really a... Uh, it's really for the person who doesn't want to lug around a full eight foot long box all the time, wants to keep the truck down to a manageable overall length, something they can still get in their garage, but they still occasionally might need that eight foot length. If the Teradyne isn't already unique enough for you, take a look at this. Up above is a full glass chromatic sunroof, which means you can actually adjust the glass to let just the right amount of sunlight in. On the inside, everything is oversized. Take the door handles and air vents, for example. The cab contains lots of storage bins, an overhead console, and a mobile office complete with a console-mounted laptop. It's high-tech and contemporary, but simple, too. The Buick LaCrosse is the ultimate luxury sedan. The gauges and controls are hidden away, making the instrument panel look more like a beautiful piece of furniture than a dash. What you can't see is the voice command system. You as engineers call it the quiet servant. Driver's door closed. Closing door. And you tell the car what you want to control, whether it's the radio volume or the driver's window or uh, temperature. You just say it. It's a single control. You know where it is. The passenger can use it too. And um, the speedometer and any other information that you want, fully customizable, is projected onto the windshield, so your eyes are always focused out where they should be. Your eyes are always focused ahead because the vehicle features a heads-up display. It's fairly intimidating getting into and driving a car without any type of an instrument panel, but designers say the heads-up display works great. And it better. I'm told it's just that type of technology that we're sure to see in Buick cars in the future. And we may see this, too. The rear panel of the LaCrosse electronically slides down and under the vehicle, while the rear window moves forward and up onto the roof. This allows the LaCrosse to carry lots of cargo. And, just to be different, the car also features a clamshell hood. Speaking of different, take a look at the CV-1. Part sedan, part minivan, and even part sport utility, it's Saturn's very first concept vehicle ever. The innovative design of the CV-1 includes bi-fold sliding doors, which allow easy access to the rear seats, and also make it easy to load bulky items, such as a child seat or a wheelchair, into the vehicle. The seating configuration inside of the CV-1 provides space for as many as five adults and two children. The rear seat even folds flat to maximize cargo space. Up front, the CV-1 features a Lazy Susan-type storage bin. The lime green bin, to match the interior, of course, has sliding doors and adjustable shelves. It reminds me of something you might find in a little girl's bedroom, chock full of hair clips or Barbies. Oh, and did I mention it's lime green? John, the CV-1 is actually one of my very favorite concept cars by GM. Maybe not the lime green color, but aside from that color, I think it looks really classy. Now, I might be the only one. A lot of folks out there that I talked to said they thought it was kind of a chick car, and even for a chick car, they weren't all that impressed. But, you know, I really liked it. Thanks, Laurel.